Hello Walking Dead fans, today I've got a treat for you. So recently, if you've been watching my videos, you might know that I have recently done a review for the Season 1-7 to seven box set. Um, now recently I did go into a charity shop, um, or sorry not a charity shop, an electronic shop, uh, and picked up three DVDs. These three DVDs being the 8th season of The Walking Dead, the ninth season for The Walking Dead, £10 by the way, 6 for 8 and the 10th season of The Walking Dead for £10. Which was really neat, so in this video I'm going to be doing a rather uh, uh, review of them. But first I'm going to give you a quick recap on season 1 to 7 box set. Um, so far I'm on season season 5, episode 3 I think. Um, but uh, we're talking about the box sets here, so the episodes we don't really care about them. But uh, the box set is a lovely box set. It's got this sort of hard uh, cardboard exterior, which I like. Keeps it nice, neat, compact. Um, inside, what I don't like, but it's up to preference, are these uh, little sleeves. Uh, sometimes, if the uh, I'll show you actually, here's six to seven. We've got these little sleeves here, and sometimes the sides can break because they're so delicate, um, and so the DVDs will just slip out, and it's really annoying. But uh, other than that, great box sets. We've got uh, one to three. Four and five and six and seven. Um, so I can't wait. The box art's lovely. There's a runtime of 50 plus hours, I believe. Or around 50 hours. Don't quote me on that. Um, okay. So, to start us off, we've got season eight. Um, Watch really annoys me is because it's a charity shop they've got stickers and i got it on delivery so they're taking the stickers off themselves but uh they've got a the little rough patch on it which is annoying anyway so here is the eighth season um it's got bonus features over two hours of uh, features plus two hours of audio commentaries and extended episodes um so let's take a look at the uh box art first um, it's lovely. You've got Rick, Michelle, and Daryl. Um, this was during the war with the Saviors, I think. Um, I've done a bit of history on The Walking Dead. So I know a, a bit of the story. Um, obviously, it's been around for well over a decade, so there's going to be um, spoilers. Uh, but yeah, the, the box art's lovely. You know, they're preparing for battle. And then at the back, We've got um, Maggie, we've got uh, Carl, or Coral, we've got Ezekiel, and Daryl on the back. There they are, from um, left to right, or right from left, I can't, I can't tell. Um, let's read the blurb. Rick Grimes and his group of survivors know how to, know how brutal their world can be. After feeling powerless under Negan's rules and demands, Rick railed, ra ra rallied sorry, his allies to fight back against the saviours. Together with the hilltop and the kingdom, Rick and the Alexan Alexandrians bring all-out war to Negan and his forces. The saviours are larger, better equipped and ruthless, but Rick and the unified communities are fighting for the promise of a brighter future. The battle lines are drawn as they launch into kinetic action, packed offence. Okay, so that was season eight of The Walking Dead. Uh, here next we have season nine, uh, Rick's sort of final season as the main protagonist. Uh, the box art features Rick Grimes with his beard and his hat with the uh, little sheriff badge on the top. Uh, he's back in uniform, I think. Um, he's cut his hair, obviously. And in the background, I don't know if you can see that, so we've got um, Michonne, Daryl, I think that's Tara. Tara? Tara? I can't say her name. 
and that looks to be Carol, but I can't quite see. Um, and said so that the, the box art it sets the tone. It's uh, sort of really grey and white and grainy. It's it's not a sort of vibrant, colourful season. It's very uh, it's a very dark season, uh, as it looks to be. Um, it's a five disc set, so I'll just show you the inside. And actually, I'll sh real quickly, I'll show you season eight. Because I don't think I showed you the eight season inside. Um, it's a six disc set. Here it is. Let me just uh, look at that. There you go. And uh, yeah. Alright, so here's the interior of uh, Season 9, which is a 5 disc set. Here we've got Rick and, uh, oh no, sorry, that's the back. Uh, here we've got Michonne and um, I've not met her yet, so I don't know who that is. Here we've got Ezekiel, I don't know who he is. Here we've got the tiger and there's Eugene, bloody, and there's Rick on disc four. Even though he doesn't feature in the fourth disc at all because obviously he leaves and... 9-4, that's been spoiled. So let's read the blurb on the back of the disc, and here it says, uh, In Rick Grimes' final season, the survivors find that ruling is harder than conquering. As they try to build a new world, Rick and his group make risky runs into Washington, D.C. To search for artefacts, they will need to build the civilization he and Kyle, Car Carl sorry, envisioned. The communities restore a bridge. Someone is gravely injured at the construction site. Rick's vision for the future is threatened by a mysterious disappearance at the work camp he leads. Communities brave a ferocious blizzard that forces the group to make life or death decisions. Alright, so that was season 9. And here we have, which I think is the coolest cover, even though it doesn't uh, feature Rick, is season 10. Mostly because I like the dark, uh, sort of, you know dark theme of it the fact that uh, now that rick is gone obviously things are a lot more bleak and a lot more sad and uh, obviously it's taken a darker tone than the previous nine seasons um so here we have um negan on the side who is now a hero we have um what's the priest's name uh father gabriel here we go um we've got ezekiel uh, I don't know who that is. She's got a nice coat there. We've got um, Carol. Here's my one of my favourites. We've got Daryl and Maggie. Um, yeah. Uh, so let's have a look on the inside, shall we? All right. So disc one features Daryl. Disc two features Maggie. Uh, sorry, that is disc two, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, disc 3 features Negan, uh, disc 4 features Carol, disc 5 features Father Gabriel, and disc 6 features Ezekiel. Now, let's have a look at the back. Um, and again, fantastic artwork for both sides. Uh, here at the back we've got Aaron, um, we've got Eugene. And I don't quite know who that Asian looking bird is, but uh, it be fun to find out. Uh, here on the backs we've got um, a couple couple of the main characters. Um, and here are the bonus features. They've got an in-memoriam featurette. Uh, and plus over two hours of audio commentary, so that should be fun to listen to. And here's the back. <clears throat> it's now spring, a few months after the end of season nine. When our group of survivors dared to cross into Whisperer territory during the harsh winter, the collected communities are still dealing with the after effects of Alpha's horrific display of power, reluctantly respecting the new borderlines being imposed on them, all by organising themselves into a m militant style fighting force, preparing for a battle that may be unavoidable. But the Whisperers are a threat unlike any they have ever faced before. 
backed by a, a massive horde of the dead. It is seemingly a fight they cannot win. The question of what to do and the fear it breeds will infect the communities and give rise to paranoia, propaganda, secret agendas and infighting that will test them as individuals and as a society. The very idea of whether civilization can survive in a world filled with the dead hangs in the balance. Whew, chills. Literal chills. So that was my review of season 8, 9 and 10 box sets. <coughs> and of course, quick recap of 1 to 7. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, join us next time. And uh, I'll be reviewing Tudors, season one to four. Hope you have a lovely evening and good night.